Happy Tuesday. I'm coming to you now from John's kitchen, John's parents' kitchen. Very cute kitchen. As a few of you trickle on in here, I'll give you a little tour. Actually, I'll show you something awesome. John's parents have a great sense of humor. I'm going to show them the throne room. So downstairs, as some of you come on in here, I'll show you. It's dark down here, but let me travel. So John's parents have a great sense of humor. And their downstairs bathroom, which I'm currently in, is fondly known as the throne room. And check out all of this royalty in here. <laughs> and then get this. Can you see this little, wait, where is it? Oh, there. It's the queen, right? There, it's the queen. You can't really see it because it's right next to the light. But she is solar powered and she waves. So look, she's not catching the light. There she is. <laughs> so that's awesome. It's hard to see, but okay, you guys get the gist. So this is the throne room. How awesome is that? Very cool. Okay, so today we're talking about fear of the unknown and how scary that is. I actually had three friends today, all separate and unrelated, reach out to me to get coached through some fear, and it was all fear of the unknown. Basically, the fear of taking the leap of faith, knowing what they wanted, knowing what end result they wanted from taking that leap of faith, but jumping into the unknown and basically expressing to me how fearful you know that decision was, how scary something like that is, and how difficult it is to take that leap of faith, to truly you know, know without a shadow of a doubt that that's what you want in life, and then to take that leap not knowing what's to come. And I think that's the biggest challenge that a lot of us face. And those of us who deal with consistent failure and consistent goal setting and consistent leaps of faith, get used to the fact that it's like, you know, a really high risk type um, decision. Taking a leap of faith is never easy. John and I take leaps of faith on a daily basis and does it get any easier? No. <laughs> we sometimes live in like a constant state of like, not anxiety, <laughs> but just pushing ourselves to the next level constantly. It is not the easiest and it is far outside of our comfort zone to continually push ourselves to face the fear of the unknown. Do we know what's to come when we make these decisions and take these leaps of faith? Absolutely not. It can go drastically wrong or it can be or it can go the opposite and go dramatically right. And more times than not, when we put in the energy, the efforts, and the excitement and go at something with 110% gusto and fervor and face that fear of the unknown, nine times out of ten, it works. Granted, we usually run into many roadblocks potential failures, uh, maybe things not going according to plan or the way that we thought that they were going to go. And it never gets any easier, but through constant practice, it's, it makes it easier to jump and leap into the unknown. So as you guys are debating, you know, maybe you're facing a fear or a decision where you're really unsure as to whether or not you should take the leap. You may be holding yourself back. Is that little voice in your ear like, don't do it? Because often we stop listening to our gut, the things that we really want in life. I always, you know, when friends like say like, what should I do? I always say, sit down and think about how it feels. How does option one make you feel? Does it make you feel anxious, excited, nervous, like pumped? What are the reactions that you're having when you think about the first option? And then how do you feel when you experience and think about the second option? We so often ignore the thought process that's here and instead listen to our head, which is trained to be, you know, irrational. We're human beings. We are trained to survive, <laughs> stay in our comfort zone, and not take leaps of faith into the unknown. The unknown is scary. It's uncharted territory. It's unknown. And it's, of course, not what our brain is programmed to want to go for. Like, it's not rocket science, people. Your brain is a rational thought process. It's like, don't do that. That's risky. And of course, but from high risk, similar to investment, comes the potential of high reward. And I, it makes me sad how many people I get feedback from that wish they could have done something or have regrets around a decision they never made or have the conversation around. Sorry, I got a phone call. I got to finish it up. Um, 
But yeah, I encourage you to take that leap of faith, to jump into the unknown, to embrace what's to come, because if even if it's a failure, there's gonna be lessons in there. And you are so worthy of those lessons and deserving of all that's to come, even though it's unknown. I love you guys and hope you have an amazing rest of your evening. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.